All right, guys. <clears throat> it is a spectacularly gorgeous, over the top beautiful. It is Groundhog Day here in the collapse of global industrial civilization here in paradise. I have washed up in absolute paradise in this place called Bacalar, B A C A L A R, Mexico, in the southern Yucatan, right above Belize here on. Thursday morning, February 2nd, 2023. And uh, while I'm waiting for the hotel maid to come uh, <laughs> mop up the mess from the my morning shower, I thought I would just do a quick uh, myth of the noble savage rant from the story from the AP. Several versions of this. Uh, this is the straight ahead mainstream media version, the sixth top story on the planet. Biden administration recommends major Alaska oil project. I just had a comment from a new listener over here from Soft White Underbelly. Uh, and she heard my interview and she was curious to hear my, uh, what I thought of the indigenous people, the indigenous people who live in harmony and balance with the planet. And I told her she probably would not have to wait long for a myth of the noble savage rant. And uh, so anyway, uh, I did tell her, I'm pretty sure if you go on to my Peruvian Plunge playlist and go to chapter 15, Amazon Massacre, you can hear uh, a more developed myth of the noble savage rant. But we're going to read this one. Biden administration recommends major Alaska oil project. Take it away, Associated Press. <clears throat> the Biden administration, this is our, you know, our Save the Pl Planet President, uh, Joe Biden, that Biden, the Biden administration released a long-awaited study Wednesday, yesterday, that recommends allowing a major oil development on Alaska's North Slope that supporters say could boost U.S. energy security, but that climate activists dis decry as a, quote, carbon bomb. The move, while not final, drew immediate anger from environmentalists who saw it as a betrayal of the lying sack of shit president's pledge to reduce carbon emissions and promote clean energy sources. Um, <clears throat> ConocoPhillips, Alaska had proposed five drilling sites as part of its Willow project <clears throat> and the approach listed as the preferred alternative by the U.S. Bureau of Land Management in the report calls for up to three drill sites initially. Um, even as the land agency released its report, the U.S. Interior Department said in a separate statement that it has, quote, substantial concerns about the project and the report's preferred alternative, quote, including direct and indirect greenhouse gas emissions and impacts to wildlife and Alaska native subsistence, close quote. But I need to change that. There is no such thing as a native Alaskan. Okay, Let, let's get rid of this uh, unadulterated horseshit. There is no such thing as a native or indigenous Alaskan. They are invaders from Asia. Okay.
anybody claiming to be a native or indigenous Alaska is, is either a liar or a clueless moron. Humans are not native to Alaska. Never have been, never will be. They are invaders. Um, the Bureau of Land Management, which falls under the Interior Department, also said in the report that identifying a pervert, preferred alternative, quote, does not constitute a commitment or decision, close quote, and notes it could select a different alternative in the final decision. Uh, opponents have raised concerns about the impacts of oil development on wildlife such as caribou and efforts to address climate change. The project is in the National Petroleum Reserve in Alaska. You know this National Petroleum Reserve sounds like they reserved it to drill for oil. A vast region roughly the size of Indiana on Alaska's resource-rich north slope. Conoco Phillips says the project at its peak could produce an estimated 180,000 barrels of oil. Um, let's see. Uh, Eric Isaacson, the president of ConocoPhillips Alaska, said in a statement, the company believes the project will, quote, benefit local communities, meaning communities of these non-native uh, Asian invaders, those communities, and enhance American energy security while producing oil in an environmentally and socially responsible manner. Yes, drilling for oil in Alaska in an environmentally and socially responsible manner. Um, the project would bring miles of roads and hundreds of miles of pipelines to the area. It would disrupt animal migration patterns and erode habitat if it goes forward, said Earth Justice, an environmental group. Uh, Jeremy Lieb, an attorney with the group, said Willow is currently the largest proposed oil project in the U.S. He said it is drastically out of step with the Biden administration's goals to slash climate pollution, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Biden campaigned on pledges to end new drilling on public lands and has set an ambitious goal to cut greenhouse gas emissions in half by 2030. So if you're wondering what does this have to do with the myth of the noble savage, <clears throat> the Arctic Slope Regional Corporation an Alaska Native Corporation, and you need to understand that these invaders, these uh, invaders from Asia, have. Th 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 this is not the only one of these planet-eating corporations, guys. The Arctic Slope Regional Corporation, an, uh, which is an Alaska, you know, original invader corporation, and the Inu and Nupiat, we call them Eskimos, community of the Arctic Slope joined the North Slope Borough, whoever they are, in, in praising the proposed alternative and calling on the Biden administration to move ahead on the project. Hmm. In a joint statement, the Noble Savages said advancing the oil drilling project, quote, is critical for domestic energy independence, job security for Alaskans, and the right of Alaska Natives to choose their own path, close quote. And that is exactly right. The right of 
Alaska Natives, otherwise known as Asian invaders, to choose their own path. And when uh, this is the path provided to them, they are humans. They want the money. Okay? Is there anybody still suffering? But they, you know, I guess the uh, whoever wrote this, but don't worry, you know, this is, and, and this doesn't detract from my myth of the noble savage rant. My rant is that noble savages, these natives, these indigenous people, whatever lie you want to use to describe these human invaders from elsewhere, uh, they are humans. Some of them uh, want to go drilling for oil in the middle of a caribou herd uh, that has been feeding, you know what I'm saying. Uh, so, but anyway, just so you know that there are two sides to the story. Other Alaska original invader groups have expressed concerns about the project. Leaders of the native village of Nusquit in a recent letter said they do not feel like the Bureau of Land Management is listening to them. The community is about 36 miles from the Willow Project in a remote region of Alaska's far north. Uh, this is Native Village President Eunice Brower and Mayor Rosemary, I can't pronounce her last name, said in the letter that the Bureau of Land Management's quote, engagement with us is consistently focused on how to allow projects to go forward, how to permit the continuous expansion and concentration of oil and gas activity on our traditional lands. And she is 100% correct on that. And so, ironically, next in line to make the, the decision uh, in this expected in May, you know, is our Department of uh, Interior, what's her name, Deb, Deb Holland, uh, U.S. And Tech or Interior Secretary Deb Holland, who is Native American. You know, she herself is one of the pre-honky original invaders uh, of, of uh, this part of, of Turtle Island. Uh, so she is the one who gets to make the next call on this. Uh, Holland fought the project when she was a member of Congress and now has the final decision on whether to approve it. She has multiple options, including outright approval or outright rejection or a middle ground that some that allows some drilling but blocks other development and that is how she is going to vote. This is how our noble savage interior secretary is going to vote. Uh, but anyway, before I close, Nate, and, and, and seriously, all joking aside, I, I want to uh, thank Joe Biden. You know, when he was elected, uh, I said the difference between Donald Trump and Joe Biden is Donald Trump would have been a nuclear radiation burn on the planet for four more years, or Joe Biden would just be a bad sunburn on the planet. And I said with Joe Biden, what you can expect uh, is that he is going to be throwing the little lefty greenies some bones. At least the uh, environmentalists uh, will have a few bones uh, thrown their way. If Donald Trump was president, you better believe that this Willow Project, the full bore one, 
uh, would have been rammed through. But for an example of two bones that Joe Biden threw the greenies before approving this thing, uh, federal agencies under Biden have within the the last week while I have been bumming around Mexico made two major decisions around resources in, in Alaska. Last week the U.S. Department of Agriculture said it was reinstating restrictions on road building and logging on the country's largest national forest in southeast Alaska, the Tongass National Forest. You know Donald Trump went in there and opened up the Tongass National Forest, uh, you know, to full blast logging. And uh, you better believe who is logging the Tongass National Forest. Okay? It's not honky. It is uh, these original Asian invaders. And so now Biden uh, went in there and, and has locked up the Tongass again, and good, good for Biden. And then uh, just uh, the day before yesterday, and hallelujah, and good for you, Joe Biden. And all joking aside, um, on Tuesday, the U.S. Environmental Protection Ag Agency said it was exercising its so-called veto authority under the Federal Clean Water Act to block plans for a proposed copper and gold mine in a, this is the Pebble Mine, you might have heard of that, in a mineral-rich area of southwest Alaska because of concerns about its environmental impact on a rich Alaska aquatic ecosystem that supports the world's largest sockeye salmon fishery. And, you, you know, the, the noble savages, I think, I think the noble savages were pretty much united in being in opposition to that planet-eating. Uh, monstrosity, the pebble mine, I am pretty sure that the vast majority of noble savages were against that one. But, but the bottom line, you, you know, on, the, uh, on my noble savage rant, people think that I hate uh, Indians or, or, or whatever. I am simply pointing out indigenous native people, whatever lie you want to use to describe these original invaders, they are people, okay? Some of them are planet eaters, some are not. It has nothing to do whether or not you are a noble savage, uh, how you take care of this planet. But anyway, it has turned into a spectacularly gorgeous day, and I'm going to get out and hang around some uh, the remnants of the Mayan Indian, collapsed Mayan Indian cellar, uh, civilization. We are in the middle of the collapse, the, the former uh, Mayan Indian civilization and the future collapse of the second wave of invaders. So I'm gonna get out there and enjoy uh, being in the second wave of, in maybe the gringo invasion of Bacalar, maybe I'm even the third wave of invader. I'm gonna get out there and enjoy being an invader of paradise while I still can. I highly suggest you do the same. Bye guys.